Hey everyone, hope all of you are doing good. So today we are going to speak about gifting. The very word itself, you know, it's got a lot of emotions connected to it, right? And when you give a gift, you know, it's about adding a personal touch to it. I mean, you could give anything. You could give some clothes or shades or laptop or mobile phones or anything expensive. But when you add that little personal touch to your gifts, it really creates a magic. So today, I'll show you two things to add on to your gifts and make it really special. First, we're going to see the making of oatmeal cookies. It's a super healthy, delicious, crunchy cookie. And the second one is a box of chocolates homemade chocolates very simple to make it's not going to take you more than 15 minutes so just try it out add it on to your gift boxes and look at the magic so now let's get to the making firstly as always take the butter and cream it well to light and fluffy Take the powdered jaggery and mix it well with the butter. You could also use brown sugar instead of the powdered jaggery, but ensure that it is very nicely mixed. Now add in the eggs one by one till it gets well incorporated within the batter. Now add in some pure vanilla extract for that yummy flavor and aroma. Here's the flour, sifted well with baking powder and salt. Add that little by little into the wet ingredient mix and incorporate it slowly. Add the remaining flour as well and mix, mix and mix. Here's our rolled oats, add that into the batter and mix well. Now add in the choco chips, followed by the yummy chopped walnuts. You can add in any kind of nuts. Now add, I'm adding in some raisins. Mix it really slowly. We don't want the raisins to become a paste. So mix it really, really slowly. Bring everything together using a spatula. And now we can scoop it out onto a baking tray lined with a silicon mat. You can either put a silicon mat or use a parchment paper. I'm using an ice cream scoop here to scoop out the dough onto my mat. Take a little water, dip your fingers and slightly flatten the cookie dough. Bake it at 180 degrees with both upper and the lower rods on for about 15-20 minutes. Yes, our cookies are ready. Have it with a glass of plain milk and it's going to be yum. This is going to be a real easy recipe. Just take the chocolates, melt it in a microwave, ensure there is no water in the bowl or spatula or anything that you use. You need to be extremely careful. Just melt it in 30 second bursts, give it a good mix, add in the rice krispies, again gently mix, bring it all together and now spoon it into a silicon chocolate mold 
or you know disposable chocolate molds like these tap it really well on the table or any surface till all the gaps are filled refrigerate it for about half an hour and you're good to go remove the sides and i'll show you one piece just to show you the shine on these chocolates here they are Now take these boxes and put these chocolate trays in them and seal it. And here's your chocolate box. As simple as that, guys. So hope all of you enjoyed the making of cookies and chocolates. So now I'm going to show you how to pack it and you know neatly get into a basket. So first we have a basket for it. Now I found some red ribbon on to it. Okay, just to give it that nice look. And just tie it off at the end. Same on this side also. And here's a gift that I'm going to give. I place that in the basket. the cookies that we made we cling wrapped it and covered it with the transparent paper i keep that too and now here's my box of chocolates i place that in as well what i do i take this you know netted fabric you get it in any fancy store so keep it under your basket and bring it all together Bring it all together and make a nice bunch here. And nicely tie this. You need to see that it is nice and firm. All right. So here it stands like a you know a nice flower. And here's our gift. So always remember, add a personal touch to any time and every time you gift. That actually really creates, you know, a special emotion towards it. So continue gifting and make someone feel special every day. I'm sure you're going to be happy with that. So take care. See you next week. Bye.